Computing functions are not limited to multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. There are also other functions in Microsoft Excel that you are probably less familiar with. If you want more of software apps technology like Excel, please click the subscribe button for free. A number progression is created in Microsoft Excel by calculating the difference of two numbers and adding it to the most recent number to compute for the succeeding number. To create a horizontal progression, select two columns on the same row and drag the fill handle to the right. To create a vertical progression, select two rows on the same column and drag the fill handle downward. Autofill also works in progression for succeeding days of the week, months of the year. and even years. To use AutoSum that summarizes a series of numbers, press ALT and the equal sign on the nearest vacant cell. To use addition in Excel, type SUM, and open parenthesis, the first number as an UGAN, a comma, the second number as an iter, and close parenthesis. Then press enter. An addition shortcut is using the plus sign between two numbers. To use subtraction in Excel, type sum, and open parenthesis, the first number as a menu end, a comma, a negative sign, the second number as a subtrahend, and close parenthesis. Then press enter. Unfortunately, you have to use a negative sign for the second number, because there is no difference function. A subtraction shortcut is using the minus sign between two numbers. To use multiplication in Excel, type product, and open parenthesis, the first number as a multiplicand, a comma, the second number as a multiplier, and close parenthesis. Then press enter. A multiplication shortcut is using the asterisk sign between two numbers. To use division in Excel, type quotient, and open parenthesis, the first number as a dividend, a comma, the second number as a divider, and close parenthesis. Then press enter. A division shortcut is using the slash sign between two numbers. To compute for the exponent of a number, type power, and open parenthesis, the first number as a base, a comma, the second number as the exponent, and close parenthesis. Then press enter. An nth exponent shortcut is to use the correct sign between the base and the exponent that refers to the number of times the base is multiplied. To compute for the root of a number, type power, and open parenthesis, the first number as a base, a comma, the second number as the root where it is the inverse of an exponent, and close parenthesis. Then press enter. An nth root shortcut is to use a correct sign, and open parenthesis, the number 1, and a slash sign between the radicand and the index with a close parenthesis. You have to use the 1 over function, because there is no nth root sign in Excel. To compute for an exponential number where Euler's constant is the base, type exp, and open parenthesis, the number that Euler's constant is raised to that power, and close parenthesis. Then press enter. To get the natural logarithm of a number, type lane, and open parenthesis, the number to be derived of its logarithm, and close parenthesis. Then press enter. The natural logarithmic function is the inverse of the Euler's exponential function. 
To get notified for succeeding Microsoft Excel lessons, just hit the notification bell.